welcome to Paint Zoo. My name's Jo, I'm part of the education team here at the zoo and I'm here today with Gemma who is one of our ape keepers who's going to tell us a bit more about our gorillas. So hi Gemma. Hello. Can you tell us a bit more about who we've got behind us then? Yeah, so here at the zoo we have four gorillas but only three of those live together. So we have our brothers currently out in front of us here. So Kiwi on the left, Dobe in the middle there and Kiondo just over there on the corner. Our fourth gorilla, who's not currently out, is Pertinax, um, and he lives apart from boys. Um, he's kind of in retirement, he's 39 years old now, um, and he just likes the quiet life. A few years ago, we noticed that the, the boy's attitude was kind of changing towards Pertinax, um, and that he was kind of being pushed outside, pushed off food. Um, so it was kind of at that stage where we started to intervene, um, and we felt that it was in Pert's best interest for him to come out of the group um, to reduce the stress all around and it did work um, and Pertinax actually loves living on his own um, he's much calmer we see him interacting with enrichment a lot more um, he's just much more laid back and it worked for the boys as well so he can still interact with the boys they can't he, 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 he can still, yes yeah. so he's still in the same building um, and they have mesh mesh contact at all times and they do still talk to each other we hear them rumbling um, if the boys are angry, that tends to make her angry, so he still does have that kind of social interaction, um, just they don't have the physical side to it. Fantastic. So, um, so they're all boys? Yeah. So how come we've got all boys then? Why don't we have any females? Um, so the fact that we have all the boys together, this is called a bachelor group, um, and bachelor groups act as a sort of holding group. So males are kind of ousted from their family by their dad um, when they're about eight, nine, ten depending on how tolerant the silverback is um, and at that age they are unfortunately too young to go on to a breeding group so it's kind of that kind of four or five years where they're too young to breed but too old to stay with their family um, so they have to go somewhere um, so we tend to keep them together in bachelor groups and they can kind of um, act as a holding facility um, until they're ready to go off and um, be part of a breeding program. Fantastic. So you said these, these three are brothers? Yes. Yeah. How old are these three then? Are they still so, quite young? Yes. Um, so Kiondo and Kivu, so left and right, are both 18 and Dobe in the middle is 17. Okay, so they stay with us basically until somewhere's ready for a new breeding bear. That yes, how yeah, that's right. Yeah. So um, gorillas in captivity, so in zoos within Europe, are managed by a stud book um, and it's the stud book that has to recommend where animals go. Um, so at the moment our boys aren't needed for breeding but they're happy living together um, so yes we can keep them together. Brilliant. So obviously gorillas you'd expect them to have quite unique personalities. These yes. boys got, they all look, got their yes, own individual very personalities? Very much so, very much so. Though they look very similar um, they are completely different. So, <laughs> so Dobe just at the front here <laughs> is probably our most unique gorilla I would say. Um, He's our youngest, but he's actually our dominant male within three brothers. Um, and this is because he's so bossy. So if Dove wants something, Dove will take it. Um, and he's not shy about letting the other two know that he is in charge. Um, he's very, very smart. Um, he's always the first to pick up new behaviours when we're training them. Um, so that keeps us on our toes. We have to keep him busy physically and mentally. And then Kibu, who's just walking off the back there. Um, He's a bit of a ladies' man, <laughs> a bit of a poser, um, quite a character, very kind of reactive. So anything new, Kivu will always kind of barge in there and test it out first. Um, and then Kiondo, who's wandered off, he's probably the most shy out of the three brothers, so the most standoffish. If there's a conflict, he will try not to get involved if he can. Um, yeah, and then Pertinax, who's our old boy, he's he's very very laid back. Once you get to know him, um, he's the hardest to kind of win over, I'd say. New keepers, he's the last to accept. Um, he will kind of put them in their place and just remind them that he's he's in charge. <laughs> so it takes a while to, to be able to work with these guys. Yeah. Then. Yes. Yeah, they're very sensitive. Um, and now our boys are mature. We actually find that they prefer female keepers over male. And they are actually quite protective over their female keepers. Um, there's one, one male keeper that still works with them, 
Um, and they, they do like him, but they do tend to prefer the, the ladies. <laughs> You're saying he's quite a laid back keeper, though? Yes, think that's he's probably very chill, is. very chill. <laughs> he's just one of the boys. <laughs> yes, yeah, basically. Yeah, you really have to be calm and steady to work around eight, particularly gorillas. They're very sensitive. Um, you have to do it in their time, not yours. They'll move when they're ready to move. You can't force them to do anything you don't want them to do. So these guys are Western Lowland gorillas, is that right? Yes. Um, so there's, there's four different types of gorillas? Yes, that's right, yeah. And they're all critically endangered, they is that are. right? Yes, they are. So what's the biggest, biggest threat to it? Um, so there's many, but the one that stands out is habitat loss. If there's nowhere for them to live, they can't exist, basically. Um, and there's many reasons for the habitat loss. Um, but one that is probably like a way that we can influence is coal tan. So mining for coal tan is a big thing now and coal tan is pretty much on everyone's person at all times so you find it in mobile phones, laptops, cameras, all sorts. Um, it's a little mineral and it's basically what makes your device work. It wouldn't work without it. Um, and the biggest way that we can help is to recycle. So if we can take that coal tan out and reuse it in a future device, hopefully we need to get less from the source itself. Fantastic. Is it easy for people to be able to recycle phones and laptops? And yeah, there's lots of ways to do it. Unfortunately, we don't do it here, but lots and lots of charities do. Um, so you can get the little free uh, free post envelopes, pop your phone in there. Um, I know a lot of recycling centres will take them as well. Um, so it, it is easy to do, but we, we just replace our phones so often, don't we? Um, yeah. And then the old one kind of gets chucked in the drawer and forgotten about. <laughs> um, but yes. Yeah, the, it's, it's easy to do and it's like a, a little way that we can all contribute. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much, Gemma. No worries. So I hope you enjoyed hearing more about our group of gorillas here at Payton Zoo and I hope you enjoy watching them next time you visit. Thanks very much.